So now we're ready to create a new part. We're going to come back up here and append in shadow box. Select it. Make sure that my reference image is applied. And this time let's do this hand grip down here. And I'll use the mask pen. I'm going to actually increase my draw or my fall off here. There we go, draw size, take the focal shift, and I'm going to turn that down so I get a harder edge on the brush. And I'm just painting in this outline. And I'm not worrying about that circle. I'm going to carve out that circle and we'll use an actual cylinder for it. process and I'm going to unmask a straight line here and let's unmask this little area here try to get right down on that outline get it as close as possible forward just a little bit. There we go. Exit out of shadow box. Actually wait, gotta remember again this time to go to the front view here and make sure that we create a mask to represent the width of that hand grip. And I'm gonna make it just a little bit narrower than the widest part of the gun there. There we go. That looks good. Great. Now exit out of shadow box. Fantastic. Now I'm going to go ahead and carve a little circle out here. And I'll do that by using the trim or clip circle brush. Click OK. And I'll just do control, shift, make sure that I've got square and center turned on on my stroke. So if I click here in the center, drag that out. Make sure that you press the Alt key so it turns dark, and that means it'll carve away that circular area. And I just want to make sure that I've got a nice circle carved here that I can put the cylinder in. There we go. Now let's save our work. Right, now let's go ahead and append another shadow box in and we'll do the, uh, the hand grip and the stock. And we'll just do the same thing here. I'm going to use the masking pen to mask the shape in. this area here.
come back around here to the front view. I just want to get a quick look here at the reference. I'm going to make the trigger guard and handle here about the same width as the widest part of the gun. Make sure we're on mask rectangle. Okay, and we'll carve away more of that later on. So I'm going to go ahead and exit out of Shadowbox. And there's our trigger guard. Now we will narrow that. It's It'll be pretty easy to come in here with the clip curve. And we can come down here and actually create some really interesting forms. that you can just carve things away and if you do that with X symmetry turned on of course you'll be able to do it symmetrically So let's go ahead and save our work. We'll go to File, Save As. Almost looks like we're carving a gun out of soap, like we are Dillinger or something. This is definitely going to require further finessing using the hard surface tools, but the important thing is that we just get the shapes in place.